Good afternoon. Uh, we are Yifei and uh, Hao. We are from Bad Dance. Um, oh. Today we would like to share our story of building virtual machine monitoring service on top of eBPF. Um, Bad Dance as a cloud computing provider, we provide our customers virtualized uh, computation resources. And we are also building an ecosystem around the uh, computation results. One component in the ecosystem is the virtual machine monitoring services. And here is the architecture of our monitoring service. In the center of this uh, monitoring service is an um, agent. It pulls the performance data from the kernel. It does the necessary filtering and aggregation, and finally publishes the results to a database. And our customers can visualize the data through our APIs. In the first iteration, as the green boxes show, uh, the agent collects the data through um, Linux out of box mechanisms. For, for example, the PROC FS. However, when we investigate very challenging um, performance issues, we, we, we realize we need performance data with finer granularities. So in the second iteration, as the red and the blue boxes show, we add eBPF code in the kernel to collect the raw data from the kernel and uh, uh, publish the, 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 the results to uh, users user space through BPF system call, libbpf, and libbpf go. Eventually, our customers can see the, this in additional data. In this, with, with this data, now we are able to uh, work on more challenging performance issues than before. Here are some examples of the data we, co we, are, we collected from by eBPF. On the top is the fig figure shows the network throughput per network flow. Network flow here means the file tuples to IP to port and the protocol type. And the, the bottom shows um, the network latency per uh, connection uh, flow. Here we, we put, uh, show our customers like uh, RDT, connection window size, and uh, transmission rate. We provide our customers APIs so they can build uh, their own dashboard like this, or they can use our own uh, in-house dashboard. We provide our customers uh, lat network latency in details. However, we are also very interested in latency questions in depth. For example, what's the software overhead in the latency? Uh, which network layer contribute most to the latency. So we, um, we select uh, key functions in, for each network layer, and we calculate their running time at the latency in the, in the layer. In, in that way, we can also view the latency from the layer dimension. Uh, as the figure shows, that's the, the function we select for, the, for each layer on the two network paths. The challenge here is not collecting the raw data from the kernel. More important is how to interpret the raw data into uh, useful and understandable information for our investigation. It's pretty challenging and we are working on that. Currently, we are focused on network subsystem uh, using eBPF. We also have a plan of using eBPF for memory, uh, memory and storage subsystems as the next step. Deploying this BPF-based uh, virtual machine monitoring in our cloud environment is not easy because the kernel uh, version in the virtual machine images come with different flavors from different vendor like Red Hat, uh, Debian, and with different kernel versions. It brings us challenges. For example, the verifier in eBPF uh, we found uh, has been evolving uh, in the history and uh, its behavior is not very co consistent. So we have to customize our BPF code for the, uh, for the verifier. 
and we hook our BPF code through a K prop. And not all kernel functions are sta uh, stable. So we have to build a different kernel, a uh, different, different BPF, different version of a BPF code for the unstable uh, kernel functions. With the limited time, we can only uh, we, we share a uh, part of our story, and we are more than happy to share more offline. Thank you for listening. <laughs>